On time shot, and uh, man, it's been a while since I recorded time shot. I felt like it started to feel like, oh my god, where's time shot? Need to record. So here we are. Uh, it's not that I haven't wanted to record time shot. It's just that I've been so busy with recording other things, other dinosaur videos and stuff. And uh, with the 1.12 update there, it's it's just like if I'm gonna record Minecraft, guys, guess which. I'm gonna record, you know, like I gotta, I gotta record the dinosaurs. So I'm back in time shot though. Just felt like uh, non-dinosaur recording today, um, mostly because of a lost footage that happened uh, with the dinosaur world. Um, looking at this, actually, I want to do more like this. Um, maybe like that. There we go. Fixed. It's fixed, guys. Uh, it still doesn't look fixed to me. I need I need uh, quartz stairs like right there or something. I can do it. I can do it. You know what? We we have, uh, do I? Yes, I do. I have enough. There. There we go. Let's do it. Let's, let's this stair right uh, right here. Maybe that one too. Oops. There we go. Okay. So today, um, I wanted to talk about uh, age a little bit. I, I This is the thing that popped into my mind right before I hit record. Um, mostly because um, I was contacted by Jake and Ice Cube to record something. Or at least to play something. I don't think it was to record, but just to play something. Um, and this isn't, we, we did a recording together. That's no, it's no, uh, spoiler because I tweeted it out. Um, but this isn't it. We, he actually contacted me, Jake did, to record a, uh, oh, I didn't show you guys. See, this is talking about age. Forgetful. Uh, I didn't show you some of the upgrades I, I did in here. But anyway, I was contacted by Jake to play some game on Steam called Slapshot. I think it was called Slapshot, and it's a hockey game, as the name indicates, and I was like, wow, I haven't played a hockey game on a PC since NHL Power Play 96, that was the name of the game, and then I realized, like, the word, the number 96 is in the name, you know how old that game is, and so my comment was, um, basically, well, you know, now I'm sure that that game was older than you guys are are old like how do you how do you word that right um the game is older than than you guys cuz you weren't even born when i played that you know that was the comment that i made to jake and we both decided that the game probably was developed in 95 which means that yes the game is older than either jake or ice and uh, that just made me feel like a grandpa. And I <laughs> made it worse as I showed him a trailer of the game, which was hilarious. I don't think it was a trailer. I think it was just some fan-made uh, video of the game. And Jake goes, oh, yeah, my dad used to play these games. And that just made me feel even more aged. Like I could feel the gray hairs popping into my head out of my head popping out of my head that's the other thing is that like I have survived this long in my life without gray hairs and um, there was a point in my life where I did get gray hairs I did I started getting gray hairs and this was way back in about the year 2009 or 10 um, but I'm gonna say that it was more actually maybe more like 10 or 11 because uh, it was later in my my career 
as an IT guy. And just before I had started YouTube kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to say like 10 or 11. Um, and I started getting gray hairs. And I thought, oh my god, I'm like, I'm so old. I wasn't in my 30s yet then, I don't think. If my math is right. And my math should be right. But yeah, no, I wasn't in my 30s yet. But it was like, why am I getting gray hairs? Oh my god, I'm getting gray hairs. It's, it happens to everyone, but why does it have to happen to me now? This is crazy. Um, shortly thereafter, I quit that job. You got, you guys know. You guys know. Of course you know. You, you were there when I quit that job. And I quit it for YouTube. Now, when I quit that job, within a year of doing YouTube, so like... 2012 by 2012 the gray hairs on my head disappeared I swear to god they just vanished and what is it this no is it this yes okay um yeah the gray hairs on my head disappeared had nothing to do with age and I don't think gray hairs well gray hairs obviously happen with age but I feel like whether or not you're going to get gray hairs early has everything to do with stress. And, like, even... And I, I don't mean to brag at all. Like, I'm an old man, obviously. I'm getting gray hairs. It only happens to old people. But I went to a hairdresser, a stylist, a, a, a barber, I guess. <laughs> But I was getting my hair cut, and uh, she she talked about, like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing uh, this afternoon? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, me and my, my wife are going to um, this. And she, she – I forget what I – I forget what it was, like a Christmas concert or, like, I don't know. It was something insignificant, but um, it alluded to the fact that, like, um, I was, I was married and, uh, was doing things in life that wasn't just going to college was, I think the, the primary, uh, thing that surprised her because she right away said like, Oh wow. I thought you were in college. And I was like, Nope, I haven't been in college for like more than 10 years. And that's true. I was in college. In 2003, four, five, six, seven. Like, I was in college for a while. Um, and I think I just... I, I got my first network engineer job when I was in... It was 2008, so... Years ago, but... Um, still, that's like over 10 years ago. So I was like, yeah, I, was, I haven't been in college for like over 10 years. And she's like... Oh my god, you look good. And <laughs> it was it wasn't meant to be like, you know, a, a a flirtatious thing. It was just like genuine shock. Genuine shock at the fact that I didn't have gray hairs cuz she was like I can't believe that your your hair looks as good as it does. And it's like, yeah. My, uh, I take care of myself, and that's, that's why my hair looks as good as it does. And she's like, what do you mean? And, I mean, you're a barber, you should hear these kinds of things. What do you mean, what do I mean? You should know. But, I think it's genuinely surprising to people. Um, I don't have another wart thing. I guess I'll make one. I don't know. Let me just double check. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess not. Uh, but I guess it's just genuinely surprising to people because nobody knows what causes gray hairs. Nobody knows what causes baldness, you know, and things like that when it comes to hair. And I mean, they 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 can tell that it's age for the primary reason, but. Other than that, they don't know why it happens to some people. It doesn't happen to others. and Yada, yada, yada. 
the intricacies of it, I guess. And my my theory is that hair is one of the you don't realize it, but your body takes a toll when you're stressed out. The stress is a huge, huge thing in your life that will take you down a peg. And I guess, I think it's just harder to see. It happens to all parts of your body. But I think it's just harder to see. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I think it's just harder to see with other parts of your body. Like, you can't see. Maybe you can see, like, bags ha coming under your eyes or, like, dark spots under your eyes or, like, you know, I, I don't know what else would show it, really. Your hair, though, is one of the the biggest indicators because it's very obvious when, when something's going on with your hair, you know. If all of a sudden you start losing hair or all of a sudden your hair starts changing color, that's very apparent compared to like, I don't know, maybe the, the, the color of your nails change. I, like what else could happen to you? I don't, I don't know. The whites of your eyes grow a little different shade. Like <laughs> what, what, would, what would happen? I don't know. Um, but your hair is very apparent when, when things affect you. Oh God. Yep. It's that time, isn't it? Let me make my way to my house. Run. Run! Run, run, run. Sleep. Look at this. 70, 76 versions behind. Update your server boat. I'm going to update it right after this recording. I swear to swear to God I will. Um, <laughs> I checked the version when I logged in. Because there were some weird lighting glitches happening. And I was like, what is going on? This Is this mod updated? Yes, it has updated. Not mod. Uh, server server software that guy's having a bad day I think but I'm getting out of there um, I have this shulker box full of dark oak and a little bit of spruce uh, I was playing around because I decided I'll show you guys I decided that building this this place out of nothing but quartz it looks really good i think it would work really good but if i want to do stuff like this and i want to make it more like oh my god it's an industrial town it has stuff it's lived in then i have to do stuff like this as well and start building with wood um start building little platforms start building little um doorway entryways out of wood like so um it just makes a whole lot of sense to do that it's easy it ties things in good it looks good it's just something that i was playing with down there so that's why i had a shulker box full of uh the dark oak and that shulker box was actually filled from spawn i don't think I don't think that there's any more dark oak at spawn, but I'd still be in need of way more than what's there. So I almost need to go and get dark oak. And I'm still playing around with it. Like, ideally, if I could just turn everything into, into quartz, that would be so awesome. Like, if you see where all this is stone, and I painstakingly... Turned every little thing. This is my silk touch. Turn every little. You can see right here, for example, this was all dirt. A lot of it coarse dirt, and I changed it all into stone, painstakingly. If I could have turned it all into quartz, that would have been even better. But there's just no way. There's just no way to get the amount of quartz that I currently have in this base. And it looks like a lot, but to me. It looks like there could be way, 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 way more. It's taken like hundreds of hours, probably, exploring the nether and going around in the nether. Granted that fireworks have really, really, really helped with that. Um, exploring the nether, that is. Dear Poet, I know how much you love rubber booties. I had a spare pair, so I want you to have them, Brian. That's a spare pair? This is like the best pair you can get. Spare pair. 
Well, thank you. That is appreciated. I will also take your chest and signs. Whee! I will put in my rubber booty chest. <laughs> of course, I have a rubber booty chest. Um, with all the other... Some of these are gifts. Boote is a gift. Uh, the Perfect Mafits is a gift. Schmoote is a, is a gift. Like Some of these were, were gifts. I like the boots. And they're pretty good. Protection 4, you know, unbreaking a lot of them. Uh, feather falling, projectile protection I found. A lot of these I found, the damaged ones. Like This got durability of 1. But it's got feather falling 4 on it. So that's pretty decent. Um, I found those on mobs a lot of the time. Every time I see golden boots on the ground, I grab them up from a mob. Um, so anyway, what was I, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, it takes forever to go through the nether and get quartz. Rockets now, um, you can fly around and get to that quartz all the faster. Like it really, really, really cut the time it takes to find it. In, in less than half, like a quarter of the time, not even that, like an eighth of the time, let's say. Let's just add fractions for days. One thirty-second of the time it took me before to find the quartz, I can just fly out to the middle of nowhere in the nether, start working, grab that quartz, then I'm lost usually, but, you know, at least I have the quartz, fill my inventory up, and, and we're good. But even with that, it's taken hundreds of hours to, to get what I've got and uh, too much work too much work to get that much quartz like I couldn't get enough to cover the mountains for sure but I can do things like this build I can do things like that build uh, I can do creative things like this build right here I just want to do more of that I want to do more of that if I can and then not have to rely on the dark oak but I, I do want to to try the dark oak see if it's a thing that can save time and still look good uh, I know that it looks pretty good down there with that little town little shop merchant shop thing so it's something that I, I would like to play with I don't know where on the map Okay, I thought I saw a vine I'm paranoid now I don't know where on the map there would be dark oak oak because I know if I head in that direction it's birch if I head in that direction it's I think it's taiga or like spruce and then it's jungle and then it's it's um the kind of spruce that has the the pods along the ground if I go in that direction it's snow I'm not 100% sure on where. I know where. Okay. No, I, I was wrong. It goes... Yes, it goes birch, spruce, jungle. But near the jungle area, there's also a humongous dark oak forest right beyond the jungle. Um, I know that because that's where the llamas kind of were, right beyond that. And uh, that's where we were looking because we looked at one of those seed generators. And that's supposedly a spot that you would find one of those new mansions that never, uh, that we never ended up finding. Despite regenerating that biome a few times, the uh, mansion never showed up, unfortunately. But I can make my way over there. I only have like so many fireworks left, but there aren't any uh, there aren't any portals nearby. I broke the portal in Pudsy's house there, so we gotta fly over. There is a portal right below here, actually, but I might as well just fly over at this point. Take less time, to be honest. And I can do it with one firework. But anyway, getting back to the age thing. So I, I kind of changed subjects. Getting back to that, um, the hair thing. How I was saying stress can affect your hair noticeably. 
more than other parts. And it's true. I do believe it's true. I'll give you another example because I said like when I was working, um, I had some gray hairs showing up. When I quit and I started working for myself and I wasn't going to work, like wake, having to wake up at a certain time and having to go to work at a certain time and stressing out about stuff that was happening at, at the office and so on and so forth. My gray hair went away. But the other thing is that my brother actually worked at my office for a little while too. And my office wasn't a very good environment. It was kind of a toxic environment in that um, the people who worked there um, were salesmen. And that's not a bad thing. You can be a salesman and be a good person. But they were very, very, very demanding. Um, a lot of egos in that kind of business. And my brother especially worked in the um, one of the design departments and the requests were obscene sometimes. A very high stress job. So dealing with that was stressful for him to the point where he actually started to get thinning hair. Like to the point where he was like, uh, he shaved his head. He shaved his head completely uh, because he didn't want, like, he was like, well, I've had a good run. My hair is, is thinning out. Time to just shave my head. And that happens with a lot of men. A lot of men, you'll notice, in their 30s, 40s, they'll shave their head randomly. They'll just start shaving their heads. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they are now thinning. Their hair is thinning. And uh, they don't want to deal with it. They, You know what? It's fine. I'll just shave my head. I'll still look good. The end. And uh, my brother was one of those those guys. He, he's younger than I am, but he was losing his hair. And um, shortly before I quit, his job was temporary. It's a long story, but his job was temporary. Um, and I got him the job just as kind of like a almost a summer job type thing to pay the bills while uh, while we were waiting for someone to come back to the, the job. And when he finally left that job, when he finally left that job, it was a miracle to him because he started to actually grow his hair back. And uh, it's really really alarming that that was the case that like when I quit my hair turned from from well it wasn't all gray but like I was getting a little speckled gray hairs here and there one or two and they disappeared and then his hair was like thinning out and he was starting to go bald his hair grew back it was after we quit so every time someone's like oh my god I'm losing my hair oh my god my hair is turning gray I don't know what to do the one thing you should be doing is looking at the things you're you're doing in life. What what's something that's stressing you out? What what is a possible contributor to stress? And I, I have to say it's got to be stress because um, otherwise we were both happy. I mean, financially we were both we were both employed, uh, <laughs> so that's that's not anything to worry about. We don't we're not like we don't have any addictions or debts and then things like that <clears throat> not at that point anyway and so there was nothing else really to to impact our lives um we both had completely different relationship statuses um like the only similar thing was that we both worked at the same place and we both quit that same place and that was the only real negative that we both had in common and when we left that job, it cured us of, of those little ailments. You start feeling better. And it was really stunning to me because you always hear, and I'm sure I'm not the first one if you're listening right now, I'm not the first one that you've probably heard say like, oh yeah, stress impacts your life. Stress can really play a role in your life. Um... It was it was just a shocking thing that it was so physically noticeable. And I say physically, your hair is a physical thing. 
Um, I'm, I was just shocked that it was a noticeable thing. So eliminate the stress and you, you will cure things like that. Of course, most people would say, well, yeah, that's fine for you to say. Not your average, your average person can't just quit your job, their job. Uh, and do something that they enjoy. And even if you do something you enjoy, it might not work out very well. You might end up still losing your hair. Uh, it's true. And so that might not be the, the cure. But if you can at least do something in your life to reduce that stress daily, I think you would go a long way at prolonging your, your health and, and keeping you healthy. Keeps you from being depressed, I feel like. Keeps you from being... Um, lethargic, tired all the time, is eliminating that kind of stress. It does wonders for health. But anyway, this is all kind of an aside. That discussion aside, um, I've now noticed that my gray hairs are coming back. Now, I, I did start working again, and that is probably, if my theory is correct, and I believe that it is, my, hair, my gray hair started coming back the moment I started working full time again. And I mean, it's unfortunate. I love my job. I love doing my job. I don't find it stressful, but even I guess just the fact that I have to do it, that I have this responsibility that I have to wake up at a certain time. Um, those add little amounts of stress in my life, like minor amounts, but it's still there. The, you know, worrying about what time to wake up. It's such a minor thing. Everybody's got to do it, but it's still a worry. It's still something. It's a tangible thing that you, you have to do. And that's not living stress-free. That's not living the Hawaii lifestyle, you know. <laughs> it's not living, you know, wake up when you want, go to the beach, you know, maybe. Or, or maybe not, you know. That's really living stress-free. Um, but it's impossible to eliminate all that kind of stress when you're an adult. So ultimately what happens is your hair will turn gray and I've been noticing it more and more lately and I'm getting older. I'm now in my thirties, lower thirties, but I'm still in my thirties and I do notice it now. Like there's, I think like five or six gray hairs on, on one side of my head. And of course, Wynn has noticed it and she points it out and blah, blah, blah. But I don't care. I don't care if my whole head turns gray. Um, there are different levels of it in my, in my family. So they say that your hair is related to, uh, most to the way that your mother's father is. That's troubling because he was very, very bald. My my grandfather on my mom's side. Very, very, very bald. Um, but it seems like my hair takes after my dad a lot more. Like my brother's definitely takes after my mom's side. And my hair tends to take after more my dad's side. So, you know, whether they say, you know, your hair is that, how your your grandfather on your mom's side is or not whether that's true or not my hair just seems like it's more like my dad's hair and my dad has completely uh still brown hair um minus a few things like he's got his sideburns are gray but apart from that he's he's all pretty well still colorful hair <laughs> mine is getting to that point too it, it's looking like it's going to be the same. Uh, but then on my dad's side, my I have uncles. And uh, I think I have... How many uncles do I have? Three, three uncles? Two uncles? Two uncles. Three uncles? <laughs> I'm so bad. You can tell my, my extended family is not as close as I am with my, my immediate family, okay? All right? So I don't know how many uncles I have. I think two uncles. And the last I saw of them, their hair was completely pure white. Like, the whitest of white hair you can ever imagine a person having. Like, it almost looks comically dyed that color. It's so white. So, there's a very good chance that 
I may take after one of them. And I would have pure white hair. At a fairly young age. Like, my uncle's, I think, in, in his... He was just in his early 50s, and his hair was completely pure white. Pure, pure white. Not a speck of brown in it. Um, I don't know if my hair is going to go like that, but if it does, well, it's just something I'll have to deal with, it, I guess. But it's, it's a sign of aging, and so, <laughs> you know, with that all in mind, the fact that I'm getting gray hairs now, and the fact that, you know, you play this this game that reminds you of something that happened like before friends of yours were born that is it's humbling in a way can i make it back to spawn maybe with this back to my base there we go if i set my if i set my cursor just below the horizon line right there i should be able to get anywhere in this entire map just from flying. There we go. Set it and go. Uh, and anyway, the, the age thing doesn't bother me. It's just interesting. Like, I think that eventually it's not really happening. I haven't noticed it happening with like finding it difficult to relate to my audience. You guys watching the job that I do full time. I work in social media. It's literally looking up and creating memes all day long and memes of course are the currency of children <laughs> really so i can i can still relate in that sense like the trends don't uh, escape my understanding but it's very difficult to Try to convince someone of, uh, well, no, that's not, no, that's not the right word to, to use, but like, when I have played games that were created and were around before people were even born, I struggle hard to not feel like the elitist, like, hipster almost, but like, it's it's so difficult like i i wonder if kids these days have the same appreciation and i know they don't and i know this sounds like such an old man rant but like when i was growing up when a new video game came out that had like a new technology of some kind like oh my god you can actually control a guy on the ice shooting a hockey puck Oh my god. And look, when you hit someone, it actually animates the guy flying over him, over his shoulders. Like, he actually hit him. Like, things like that were just, they blew our minds. They blew our minds. New technology was coming out, it seemed like, every other day. A new game would come out with some new technology, and then 3D started coming out. When 3D came out, it was just like, it blew our minds. Things like that were just innovative 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 and nowadays it's like it's all the same bag and it's just sequels of the same thing the technology is getting better the graphics are getting better but it's not like so innovative that it's not something anybody's ever seen before minecraft kind of had that I think that's why Minecraft took off the way that it did is because all of a sudden once you've you've had the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing for breakfast every day for 5 years, all of a sudden someone introduces a waffle and it's like, "Oh my god. I need nothing but waffle for the next 5 years again." Um I think we're in a spot now where there's going to be another innovative, super innovative thing that comes out and people are going to go crazy for it. It's not the Apex Legends Fortnite thing. That's not, despite its popularity, that's definitely nothing near what Minecraft did or what Minecraft had. Um, though it was, it was close to capturing people's imaginations. It's in the same vein, I'll give it that, but... 
um, keep in mind that Minecraft really started that with the Hunger Game stuff. So Minecraft even had a hand in those games. Minecraft aside, anyway, it's it seems like like uh, when I grew up, the first game that I ever ever played, very very first game, was uh, a Pac-Man game on an old arcade table, and there are just kids that don't have that. It's like it's such a classic old man story. Like, well, when I was a kid, I had to walk to school five miles uphill in the snow and. Nowadays, you just have a teleportation device. You click a button on your phone and you're at school. You know, that's... It's very much... More and more, I feel like that. And I know it must be a classic old man thing, but, like... I wonder if people will appreciate it the same as I did. You know, can you look back at... 16 different kinds of Call of Duty and say, oh yeah, those were the days. I remember the 14th one especially. You know, like, I don't know. It's just not the same as like, oh, I remember Sonic the Hedgehog or, oh, I, I remember the first Mario game playing that for tens and thousands of hours. I don't know if it's the same. I don't know. Something about old age, but I'm excited anyway. <laughs> Long story short, I'm really excited to play this new hockey game with some friends. It'll be really good. Um, <laughs> we did really nothing in this episode, did we? Talked about stress, talked about old age. Let me know what your thoughts are on both of those things in the comments below. And uh, now that I got all that dark oak, I'm going to start doing things with it nefarious things with it. I don't know what. I'm going to potentially I want to span some of the logs just randomly across, crisscrossing here and there. Uh might look good. Uh like for example, I might have a log go from there over to there. Just a log, just a random log. Uh but also build them into, I might not do that. So I might do that, but then I might not do that because I want them to be functional. I want it to be like, okay, if I were by the sea, if I were by the sea, so I have this nice town by the sea, whoops. Where would I build if I were like opening up a shop? So I, I started this, I cut this path right here because I, I was down here working on this and I realized like, Okay, it's fine to have like this crane uh, and you got this little dock area with the, this is pulling up the stuff from the mine, clearly, like that's good, it's all right, that makes sense. But wouldn't it also be nice to have this sort of a pathway down here, this is all temporary, but like down to a new dock and I want to build a dock right here as well. Similar in style to the dock I have over there. And then just have it filled with, like, merchandise, different kinds of blocks, bales of hay, and uh, logs, and, you know, the usual decorative stuff to make it look like it's a, it's a port town. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do, is, is build another dock right here, deck it out. But then I was thinking to myself, like... It doesn't make sense to have that kind of stuff built out of quartz. It just doesn't. I need to start building stuff like that out of wood. Out of the dark oak, maybe. And that's when I started like fiddling with this. And being like, well, maybe I could change the floor here all to, to this dark oak. That looks pretty good. You know, build it there. And then have little shops built out of the dark oak. But there would still be quartz all over the place. I don't know if that would clash or not. Something I gotta play with. That's why we gathered all that dark oak today. Something I'm gonna play with. But uh, that being said, I think we've talked long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Time Shot. Bye bye. <laughs>